Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we are in the Citroen. And we're going to do a modification. Really exciting. Uh, but first we need to look at something. So, look at this gear stick. We've already done a modification to make the gear shift um, or the gear selection more precise and more mechanical feel like a racing car. Um, now this modification that we're going to do now is a further adaptation of that. So looking here, we've got, yes, look at this, some instructions there, but th this, this effectively is um, sort of a short shift kit. Well, it is a short shift kit. And the idea is, is that it's going to mount to the gearbox and change the geometry of where the cable's attached to, to make this move less when changing gears. So first we need to get some base lines. I'm going to try and get a rough measurement of how much the gear stick actually moves. So if I put it on the, so that's say on the five inches, if I go forwards into third gear, it's like two inches. And if I go backwards, it's probably more than two inches. Um, the side to side, pretty sure this modification won't affect that, but let's measure it anyway. It only attaches to one cable, so it can only affect one axis, but unless it only affects the side to side, but we've got about four inches side to side. So we've got a good sized penis that way and an excellent sized penis this way. Now what else I need to do is see if this affects the 0 to 60, because obviously this is going to affect the 0 to 60 massively. Um, so let's go and do a pre 0 to 60 run and see what my time is. Now it's not going to be very good because I fitted quite a restrictive exhaust baffle to quieten the shit down. So above like 4,500 RPM, it's a bit flat. But we can, we can leave that in for both runs and it'll compare it perfectly. Now we've done our pre-installation comparisons. Let's have a look at what we've got as part of the kit. So this is a thing that mounts onto another thing. And we've got some, some button heads and some washers. And I think that's it. There's also some instructions which show us how to carry out the installation process. So making our way around to the front of the vehicle, we can see where this goes. So that is the gear selector. And this, right, goes like that. And then the bolts bolt that onto there. Something like that, but obviously tight. So that is a 13mm and a 5, 13mm not and a 5mm Allen key. Like so. And then just tighten them up in a uniform and even manner. So both of them. And that sets to a level of torque settings. I know it's as simple as pulling this off. Uh, I might give you a little tip here. Take that off before you fit this, because that is now sort of in the way of that, and I'm going to have to manipulate that shitter around it, which I'm sure is doable. Yes. 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 So now it should just be as simple as pulling that off there, putting it onto there and then putting this back on to there for fuck's sake that's a third time lucky yes right, so now it's fitted we can get back into the car and feel what difference it's made and oh that has made a lot of difference Wow, that has made a lot of difference, actually. You know what, for 35 quid, that's pretty good. I suspected, still the same, but because you're only going a tiny bit there, it feels a lot better. So let's do some measurements. Right, so let's see what we're getting now. So now we're in third gear, and going back into fourth gear, it's like, it's like three inches maximum. Probably less, actually. I'd say it's more like two and a half. Now, when I looked back at the footage before, 
I was getting two and a half forwards and two and a half backwards. So, I'm, yeah, I'm getting about half what I got before. So, that's pretty good. Pretty sick. Same for all other gears as well. Um, now, obviously, the side to side, as anticipated, is the same. Um, but, that on its own, that feels like really erotic. Let's go and see if it's any faster. As you can see from that, well, the results are just crystal clear. It's significantly more slick when changing gear. Um, it's just tell, it just goes into gears really much faster. Um, but there is a downside to it, and that is that when you are changing gear, you've got to put a little bit more force into it, which in itself isn't a problem. Um, there's no sort of, you're not putting loads of force in it where it's hard to do anything, but problem that I'm foreseeing is it's going to be it's going to put more stress on the gear linkage cables still going to keep it though no, I'm not going to take it off or anything um, but it is going to be you know you've got less mechanical advantage at the gearbox end which means that you've got to put a little bit more force it means you've not got to push it as far but you're putting a little bit more force on it so that's that's the only drawback that I can see to it other than that 35 quid on eBay mint so overall it's a nice easy cheap modification and it works pretty well so yeah i'm quite impressed with that anyway that's all for this one don't forget to like comment subscribe all the usual shit and i haven't done this for ages but i will leave a side by side at the end of the acceleration comparisons see you bye